Hello, welcome to this 04 of C, the more function, more nested loop question. Okay, we are going to take care of today's tax. Okay, let me start with the, the general requirement. We are using um, V editor, V editor today for this file. All our files will be compiled into Ubuntu 20.04, the latest, the the LTC, the LTS using GCC. Okay, we're using GCC compiler and all these options. Okay, now all our all our files will end with a new line. We are going to have README file in the root folder. That is our directory. Okay, our code is going to be Betty compliance and we are not allowed to use global variables right so no more than five functions per file okay you are not allowed to use standard library standard library any use of the function like print f or puts is forbidden you are allowed to use put car okay you don't have to push this put car dot c we will use our file if you do we won't take it against you okay they will not take into account okay also in the following example the main dot c file as shown as example you have to use them to test your function but you don't have to push them into your word repo if you do we won't take it into account so we will use our main dot c to okay they use their main dot c to run it okay so the major thing here is the prototypes okay the prototypes of all your function and the prototype of all the the put car should included in your header file called main dot h okay so what i'll just do and make sure you don't forget to you don't forget to push your header file toward git okay now okay okay so our number one tax here is write a function that check for upper characters right this is our prototype right these are the return values return so they said the prototype this is the prototype the return will be one if c is uppercase but if c is no uppercase the return should be zero otherwise so the the standard library provides a similar function like this is is upper okay you can run that to check so what i like to do here is i like to create all my headers all my header file at once okay so this one will be included in our header file this one also will be included in our header file number two number one so we'll go through all of them we'll put all the header file together this is this prototype is in the header file okay so i like to put my header file at once okay so now let what i'm going to do here now is i'll go to let's go to the beginning let's go to number one so the first thing we do let's open a, a sandbox Okay. <clears throat> Oops, what happened? Network. My network. Oh, this is strange. I've not experienced this before. Let me check again. Oh, this is strange. Let me see. It's my connection. Yeah, let me check my. So now let me refresh. Let's see. Oh my, okay, it's back. So what I'm going to do now is CD. I'll CD into my. LX order, sorry, repository. 
uh, enter it now list it out what we're okay we are doing question four now okay so first of all we'll create the variable the directory for it so make directory okay for what was the name let's go and get the name correctly to avoid any error later so okay so command v so we make this directory you can see this is that the directory is here now so we cd into the directory okay now the next thing we have let's ls in the directory there's nothing that directory. so the next thing we need to do is to create the echo file right the empty the echo file we have to create it so So now the next thing will be read me read me that md okay make sure you give space to make your work look neater okay enter now let's ls you will see then so the next thing we need to do again is to create our main dot header file right main.header file okay so now we enter press insert on your keyboard now let's and let's type okay we let's go and copy all the so i'll have to pause the video here i'll copy all the header files so where can i get all the header files you see them here all the prototypes number one this is this is zero tags is it here okay this is another one here, all to the 12, the, all of the other prototypes, you use them for the header tags, okay? I'll just quickly copy them and get back to you, okay? Thank you very much, I'll pause. So you can see, these are all, all our header file. You can see them all here. Ensure that you type them out. So the next thing we are going to do now is to save them the next thing we are going to do now is to create the, the other file, which is this. Okay, which one? Okay, this file, the zero dash isopa dot c, command c. So let's go back and command v. Okay. Okay, the next thing we are going to do now is to type the code inside. Okay. So pause and continue. Okay. This is the code. This section here is the main. This is the comment. Okay. This is our function. You can see. Okay, so the, you can see the if if statement. Okay, so if x is greater than or equals to sixty five, right? And this is and and x is lesser than or equals to ninety, then what we need to do is to return one else it will return zero okay that is the answer so let's go back and let's save our work Play my i'm going to add let's add it Then it it um, okay. Let's push it. Okay. Let's go check if our answer is correct. I 
can see the answer is correct so let's do it please subscribe like and share this video to help other people also thank you very much